Hello and welcome to the fifth tutorial in this one. In this playlist, obviously, I'll be talking about how we can divide and create sort of uh, different lists, sub lists within our list. So let's proceed with that one. And I'll be using the same curves I used over here, but for a different kind of a cause now. So we, as you remember, we divide this into points and maybe I can also grab these guys as well copy them and paste them Oops. copy and paste copy and paste put it over here and put this one over here so the, the issue where what we are not the issue though but the another Kind of a list operation that I would like to show you is the sublist. What this sublist component works for? Sublist is basically kind of a component in which you can grab sort of a elements or the items in a range. So let's say we are having this as our list, and if we grab a domain. Like, let's say I want to select between 3 and 7. So I'll grab and say 3 and 7. Sorry, 3 and 7 as my... Maybe I can put this here, put this here, this here. Put it over here. So if I put this all in, what now I'm seeing is I only select the items by using the sublist in between 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And if I increase this to, maybe I can like increase this to, I don't know, let's say 5, I want to show you the wrap version of it. And you see, since the wrap is true, it starts with 0, sorry, 3, 4, and 5. And then six and seven, you see. But if I pull out a toggle and then say, medium toggle off, then it will only select the items that are available in that particular domain. And if I do the same thing for the below, control C, control V, and like, let's say, I don't know, like one, two, five this time, Okay, and obviously I need to write this into that. So what I can do here is I can say line, connect this, connect this, and then create sort of a loft in between. Okay, and then grab a curve as such. If I increase this, you see now we won't be able to loft this because then it's connected, it's gonna be connected over here, right? So what I can do to make this a bit like a more parametric maybe, let me put this here, put this here, put this here, put these visualization guys over here. What I can do is I can say always like an addition, right? And that addition value would be always the same for both ends. Therefore, what I will be doing, whatever I start with, doesn't matter what I start with, I'll be always, and always, control C, control V, add to this group, delete these guys. So then my whole thing is going to be my starting location, right? So if I start with this, I always start with, you see, we are, oh, we have some overlaps, obviously, but this is how we, uh, proceed with this sublist component here. Okay, this is sublist, and I can group this because in this very same tutorial, I would like to mention about uh, control. Sorry, control C and V, and grab this guy again. Add to group and color. Put it over here. Sublist. We grab a chunk in the list. 
And what is about the partition list? So maybe I can copy this and paste it right here. And copy this and paste it here. However, this time I'll be deleting these guys. Deleting you, 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 you as well for now. And we can say partition list. This is not quite like, this is not very, uh, you, it's not very common to use this. It's sort of a specific component. It might sound or work handy for some cases, but usually you want to sort the list, which will be mentioned in the next video. So if I come over to partition list, now, so what this does basically, it basically takes out a list, it takes a list and let me, sorry, define this, let me define this as well. Takes that list and divide that list into a smaller chunks or chunks. So in this case, it's size three and two. So if I grab a panel here and take a look at it, what I'm seeing is now is basically um it's basically you see zero one two because the first is three and the, then it's two so if i grab a panel here i can say one to two and connect it over here and then right click multi-line data then i divide this list into smaller chunks or smaller or different lists which has defined by their items in that list by putting the numbers into the size so I copy this and paste connect it over here now we having the same sort of information here as well but then what is important here instead of putting this if I connect this here what we are going to see is now this because maybe two to three would make more sense two to three will make more sense as well and you see last week we mentioned about this or in the previous tutorials we are having multiple lists here we have a data tree over here which is indicated with this dashed curve and what I'm also seeing here, different colors. So different colors means different lists in that particular data tree. So basically, first list has two items, zero, one. Second list has four items, zero, one, two. Three items, zero, one, two. Third list has zero, one again, and so on and so forth. We can always increase this, decrease this, but that is basically uh, it for this tutorial and like partition list. Again, partition list might be a useful in some cases, but I highly recommend you to double check because using sort kind of a sorting algorithms or sort kind of a short list would be, would make more sense. And this is how we finish this tutorial by showing these guys. And I'll see you in the next one.